I'll zoom down and make a couple of buckets just for harder. I, uh, I got a bucket from the store there, and I got a couple of buckets there, so I'm trying to get a good start on it and make a couple of buckets. So basically, all you want to do is put your trap there, mark mark your size where you want to cut your slots to, put your hand about the middle if you can, cut them down probably a inch or so, just so the trap is down over here's the bucket, and uh, you drill the bucket with four holes all around so you sink good. And uh, put a stick across down here, close to the bottom of the bucket, for keep the bait on. Put a piece of wire or something on there for keep the bait on the stick. So that's basically all I'm going to do, and just put a just put a flat rock down the bottom here, keep it down there, so you'll stay on the bottom. So I'm going to put more of them out here. I only have two out last year, and I got I got four mink in them, but I never got no otter. But I'm going to try to get to eight or ten out here if I can. So when I get some done, then I'll, I'll show you this. this uh, it's not a real hard thing to make, but I'm just going to show you. Okay. This basically a trap was in my hat. Just two notches there, same as you would in a meat box. You haven't got any particular about it, as long as the notches are there and they're pretty even. It's the main thing. So, where this bucket is a little bit bigger, this little bucket now is a little bit bigger, up right here. I'm going to drill a hole there and over there. I'm going to put a stick across there to so block the mink. I don't know how I want to get down there, but the mink can. And uh, block that off there so uh, the mink or the rat, whatever, won't go down there. This bucket's a little bigger, right? So, so that's the start of it right there. That's basically how it is. He's under the water and just dives down and he's beat. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, do the rest of it. Huh? Okay. That's basically how I would have it. Huh? We're watching my trailer. I've got my safety on it. The, let's put two sticks there, but the bucket is a bit, a bit, uh, a bit wider. So just put the sticks in there and make sure they're tight. And throw two holes across there and make sure they're tight. So there's only one way in for that uh, bait. That's down through that trap. So he sits off there pretty good. So I'm going to drill four holes now and put my stick down the bottom. And I'll show you when he's done. Okay. He's basically here now, he's, he's just about finished. Well, he's finished, he is finished. There's a big bucket set there now, there's the trap there. Like I said, I put two sticks there for this bucket a bit bigger. And you got your stick down bottom there, drove through. You a stick that's going to go tight so it won't come out of it. And just warrior your trout on that or bait, wherever you want to put there. I usually put trout, fish, or, or something like that. It's just like that. And you put a flat rock down the bottom, or a rock on your side of that stick. Nice size rock. So don't have them too big, so it won't interfere with the trap. And drill them full holes so you sink good and you stay down good. And pull it back up. And I got a bigger hole drill right there, so I'm gonna put a piece of line in there and, and, and tie a knot on in there, a couple of knots right there, so you won't come out. That's how I'm gonna tie on the line. Because uh, I find with the, the tie water, especially in salt water, uh, it rushes off. You know, fresh water probably won't rush off, but salt water do. Just, and just wire your trap too. You can wire your trap, tie your trap onto the bucket, or I usually tie mine onto the bucket. And I tie the bucket off to the shore. So that's basically what it is there. So it's easy to make. So hopefully I have more success with them a year. I've, I've I have four kitchens in it last year. So hopefully I get a couple hotter gear in So I need a couple more buckets there than I'm going to do there now. Okay. Now this is the right size bucket I got here. This is the one I got three minks in last year. Same bucket. So there's no, you no know, sticks on either side. There's no room there for the meat to get down into. So it's basically perfect size. And this bucket here I just had to show you. Now you dig around like that one I got over there. You have to do the same thing. Drill sticks in. Right? But use a shallower bucket. As long as you got enough room, I mean the, the trap is for seven and a half inches or something. So as long as you got eight or ten inches just for the trap to uh, set off, it's perfect. So I'm gonna use these too, and they're good for shallower water. You haven't got to do so much water there, so good for shallow water. We can do more about it. So, so I'm gonna do these too. Huh? Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, four. I have five maybe. So. So, yeah, okay.